Hey everybody, Joe here. This is going to be a video response to Baring and Billy Bong, two for the price of one here on the Live Life 8072 channel. I will be addressing and challenging some of their statements on the recent Berkeley free speech rally that took place last week. Sounds good. Thanks for the response, by the way. Links to their videos for full context are below. And likewise, Joe's video as well as the original videos by Billy Bong and myself are linked in the description. Now, I do like both of these individuals and feel they make good content on topics we should be discussing but there comes a time, there comes a time when you have to criticize the people you enjoy watching here on YouTube. That's a fair statement. Be it misinforming their audience with lack of information, lack of detail, while adhering too strongly to their political stance. Misinforming my audience with lack of information? I'm intrigued. It'll also be interesting to see what Joe meant when he mentioned adhering too strongly to their political stance. He either meant one should not adhere too strongly to their political stance as a general rule, in which case I'd expect to see a fairly diplomatic Joe, largely focused on finding solutions to the apparent growing civil unrest in the US. Or he meant Billy Bong and Baring should not adhere too strongly to their political stance, simply because they differ to his in some way. If this is the case, I'd expect to see a fairly stubborn Joe, with more of a focus on the distribution of blame. Let's find out. Not every activist smokes weed and wears fuzzy bunny slippers while giving hugs to residents living on Gummy Gum Drop Island. Um, okay. Sometimes you have to call a spade a spade and leave your political beliefs on the sideline and play ball. Now, I don't disagree with Baring in the first half of his video addressing the SJW asshats in that video, but I do disagree with him a little bit here at the end where he promotes Billy Bong's video and sort of agrees with him. So let's start here. Now, to be absolutely clear, I think at this point, both sides of this argument need to back off and reconsider their tactics before things spiral out of control. Baring, you seem to be very central on your views at the end here. No, I think I'm conducting myself in a conciliatory manner. My views are much closer aligned to the side that put on the free speech rally than fucking antifas, but I'm more interested in solving problems than apportioning blame. So funnily enough, Joe, what I'm actually doing here is letting go of my own political stance and adopting a more diplomatic conciliatory stance. But things have been recently spiraling out of control. Well, since the 2016 presidential elections last year. But I'm sure you agree that the violence starts with the leftist. Yeah, I do. Antifa, SJWs, like you stated in your video to a certain point. To a certain point? Show me the point where I stated otherwise, Joe. Whether people like that fact or not, the leftists involved condone violence. This is well noted in many videos here on YouTube. Punching Nazi was a popular topic as of recent, coming from the leftist. People like Steve Shives. Yes, I'm well aware, Joe. In fact, I was labelled a fucking Nazi myself by Steve Shives in a rather public dispute over the incident. Then I thrashed out the whole argument again with a few other YouTubers. I'm intimately aware of how the far left have been condoning political violence in recent months. The right of free speech is being silenced at Berkeley and other universities. These are collective groups that believe any speech they disagree with is hate speech, and that hate speech is not free speech, that it's not covered or protected by the First Amendment. This is absolutely bullshit. Yes, I know all this, Joe. We don't disagree on this. And they will continue to aggressively combat the speech violently they oppose by any means necessary, which is actually an activist group in California. Sir, please, I'm just here to protest! Please, up. Stand down! Yeah, again, I know all about a vet Falaka and the shit she's been up to for the past few years. You don't need to sell me on anything here. She's a fucking idiot. This unethical behavior will not be tolerated. Not by me or any sane person I know. Yeah, I don't blame you. I wouldn't tolerate it either. Do you think I'm asking you to tolerate it? Do you actually think that these leftists are going to stop anytime soon? I don't know. It kind of looked like they got their ass handed to them last week. So it's probably a really good time to be reminding them that they don't need to brawl in the street, that this can be a civil debate. Now if they tell you to fuck off and they show up again and violently try to shut down the next event, then by all means, meet violence with violence. Joe, I'm not asking anyone to back down and simply cop it from the other side. I'm asking both sides to back down. Because until both sides back down, I can only see this getting more and more violent. And I don't think it's going to be long until we can start a body count because of all this. And I don't want that to happen. 
and I'm sure you don't want that to happen either. Now, just because I've said both sides need to back down, Joe, that doesn't mean that I'm saying both sides are equally to blame for this. As I've said, I think the far-left protest groups hold most of the blame here, but that doesn't change the simple fact that this will not stop unless both sides want it to stop. This is a war on free speech. It's only going to get worse, Baring. Antifa, leftists, SJWs, they're all the same to me, have been calling on supporters to bear arms, to take combat and weapons training. The people on the right have the right to defend their freedoms here in America, and I support them. So do I, Joe. I'm seriously starting to get the impression that you think I've suggested otherwise. They will not be silenced by a bunch of keyboard warriors living in their mother's basement. It's also time for the riot police to start doing their jobs, and for the mayor of Berkeley to stop supporting these groups. Nobody should be sucker punching unsuspecting blokes being interviewed about frogs. And nobody should be belting short hairy girls who like to brag about starting fights online. Well, you got the first part correct. I got both parts correct, Joe. But the latter? The Antifa chick got what she deserved. We know why she went to the rally. It was to do physical harm to the people she opposes. Moldy Locks came to Berkeley with some shitty intentions and put herself in the wrong place at the wrong time. The fact that she got punched in the middle of that ride is no surprise at all. And when you watch the clip of her being punched in the few seconds leading up to it, she's clearly putting herself into the fight. So I don't have any sympathy for her whatsoever. In fact, I even made a video about her when she tried pulling the victim card last week. But none of this makes my statement any less true. People shouldn't be getting the shit beaten out of them in street riots in America in the present day. It should not be happening. And there's no apportionment of blame or responsibility attached to that statement. It just shouldn't be happening. Was it justified that she got punched? Probably. Was it right? No. So I'm kind of struggling to identify what it is we disagree on here, Joe. I think you've attached meaning to some of my statements that just wasn't there to begin with. Anyway, I do appreciate the response. Now this video only covered the part of your response directed at me. I think Billy Bong and I will go over the rest of your video live at some stage over the weekend. Cheers.